Okay, so here we have a TVP on Ohana. So what do you think about this map? Um, I actually really like this map. I have had nothing but uh, really fun games. Uh, um, you generally don't see anything too cheesy on here. I mean, there's always outliers because when you're playing ladder, that just happens. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, spawning up here in the top left, representing physics gaming, we've got CS Minster, uh, who has been casting these past few games. So he's a familiar face. Uh, and then spawning. Familiar voice. <laughs> familiar voice. And then spawning down here in the bottom right as the red Terran is Jeff from QC, representing minutes per action. Yeah, so the thing that really gets me about this map is that there's so much dis distance between the main base and the third base. So Terran drops are just so good on this map. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Jeff decides to open up, whether he wants to hit with a quick uh, a quick two racks or whether he wants to set up that fast expo or maybe a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yeah, 1-1-1 one, one, one is definitely a possibility. Although I think more players on this map prefer the straight up macro. One rack CC, one gate, nexus, etc. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I can't really say I've seen Minster play that much, though. This is going to be time number one for me. <laughs> it looks like we have Jeff sending out a semi-early spell. Yeah, that barracks and that gateway going down at virtually the same time. So far, and actually, there goes, there goes Minster's probe right after the gateway. Pretty standard timing on that. Yeah. One gas coming down from Minster as well. Very standard so far. Man. Jeff's gonna get up into that base and see that, see that gas. Um, actually, blocking that pile on there. That was a little cute. Um, <laughs> Something he needs to notice though is that there's a little bit of Chrono Boost saved up right now. Oh, never mind, he just spent it. Yeah. And Minster, if he runs over to that other gas, he's going to notice that Jeff is still on no gas. And there he goes right now. Probably with the one rack CC. Yep, so we're probably seeing, Actually, we're probably seeing a gasless expo from Jeff. What's that? Sorry. I was saying he started the orbital kind of late. It's yeah. Really weird. He's delaying that fuel. And there goes his cyber core. <laughs> It looked like that probe wanted to build something, but then he sent it back to mine. And command center going down for Jeff. That probe is seeing everything. <laughs> so, very good scouting by Minster so far. Yep. And I have to say that, that so far this game is very standard. Nothing weird, cheesy. Everything's looking good. Yeah, everything's pretty well timed. and Putting down the third pylon before Nexus. I'm not really sure about that decision. Yeah. That tells me he's either going to try to throw on a little bit of aggression before he expands, or he just thought it was too late. <laughs> yeah, with him still croning all probes, he's definitely throwing down a nexus. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. Just and throwing down a bunker in the very beginning, there, in the front of his natural. There goes that probe down there to throw it on the nexus right now. Uh, good. Very good. Jeff adding on two more barracks back at home. A little bit of lag there. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised to see double gas taken from Jeff. Yeah. So far, this is extremely standard. Something interesting is that Mixter is not actually poking with the Stalker and Zealot. I wonder why that is. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. He's keeping those back at home. I mean, really off of uh, one racks expo, that's that's kind of giving Protoss map control for the very early game. So it's yeah. weird that Minster isn't really taking advantage of that. And also, if the Terran decides to get greedy and not even build a bunker, he could potentially do a little bit of damage as well. Yeah, absolutely. Stalkers are very good against Marines. <laughs> Stalkers are pretty good units. Yeah. <laughs> there goes that double gas, like you were saying, from Jeff. Yep, slightly later than standard, but no worries. Yep. Uh, misclicked a couple of SCVs there. There we go. <laughs> We don't have any tuck coming down from Metzger though, and we see two extra gateways, so this is probably going to be a very simple three gateway aggression. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to throw down a robo. There goes the robo right oh, there. Oh, there it is. Yep. yep. 
So it's probably just going to do and actually get, routes and get some scouting. Jeff going up to four gas now. Oh, that's and, interesting. And throwing down that factory and a tech lab. Seasons? No. No, I'm sure he's um, gearing up for a medevac push. Oh, it's a lot of. Seems like a lot of gas. I'm not. I'm not a Terran player, so I'm just. Yeah. No, normally, when I do medevac pushes, I do it off three gas. Um. I guess it just kind of depends on what what you're planning on doing. Yeah. He only has one uh, one SUV in each gas, though. So. Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's disordering it right now. Yep. Sending those transferring drones in or SCVs into there. We see the first observer coming out for Minster to try to get into the enemy's base to see what's going on. Yep. And still chronoing out probes. Uh, Jeb is actually staying up, or uh, staying up to par with uh, Minster yeah, here. Yeah, that's really weird. Probes. Normally, Protoss and the Chrono Boost get skyrocketed. And actually, we see Jeff throwing down three star Oh, pits. my God. I wanted to say this, but I didn't want to sound too. <laughs> Too bad. I think he's going to do like a hardcore cloak banshee or just some kind of weird sky terran play. I really, oh, really, I really hope it's battle cruisers. Oh, that could be a possibility. Or ravens. I don't know. Sky terran is okay, but stalkers are pretty good against anything air related since they get upgrade upgraded damage versus. Yeah, armor. it really depends on what composition Minster goes for. Like if he were doing like a uh, zealot archon build right now. Obviously, Sky Terran's going to be very good, but I don't know. He's going for more of a standard composition, so I'm I'm really curious as to how this is going to work. He is getting an armory though, so maybe he's quick upgrades, or he's got an armory and a tech lab Do on that need... factory, so he might be going Thor's. Uh oh, <laughs> we see a triple tech lab coming. Drops all the tech labs. Minster, double forge Minster out. adding yeah. on double forge. That observer at the front seeing almost everything. That's just a little bit oversaturated on his main, though. A little bit of mistake out of Minster. He left that um, observer over the natural, not actually scouting the main uh, yeah. before it died. So he actually has no idea what's. He has no idea that these starports are even coming. So here we have three benches coming out with cloak. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming the armory really is just for upgrades. It's going to be a weird Sky Terran plus Marine composition. Yeah, I'm really curious as to how this is going to work. But I have to say, Mr. is actually getting a Robo base. He's going Colossus. And yeah. last time I checked, Colossus couldn't shoot up. So. Yeah, uh, so Ban actually, Banshees are the hard counter to Colossus. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that patch from Blizzard for the Zealots to climb up on the Colossi and jump out yeah. and attack air units. Also, lifted buildings counter Colossi. <laughs> Minster kind of has a low stalker count though, he only has six. Yeah, he's got a lot of sentries, but those are going to die really quick to any kind of mass banshee. As long as Jeff focus fires. We see a Thor coming out as well from Jeff, so this is just... And a, ra and a Raven. This is an all-around composition, I don't even know what to say about this. Yeah. I've, n I've never seen anything like this, it's going to be really... I mean... This I mean, it, it could be really strong, it could be bad. I guess it just kind of depends on how the engagement works. Yeah. Mr. destroying the rocks between his natural and third. Probably hoping to take it third. But there isn't actually a marine right there blocking it, so... Yeah. I don't know. Jeff making sure he's keeping eyes on everything that's happening. That's very good. And, um, one one getting close to done for the Protoss player. Just starting, his the just starting his first Colossi now. Yeah, a little later than expected, but we have four benches, five benches coming out. Oh man, yeah, right. this is a lot of damage. Right as Minster's so, moving to his third. Does he have an observer with him? Um, he has one observer on the field. Or no, he must uh, that must have gotten scanned too. He doesn't have any observers out right now. Oh, uh, this is going to be killer. Yeah. Cloak cloaking a little early, though. Yeah, I think he just wanted to make sure he wasn't seen by that ne that third Nexus. Oh, man. And the Colossus is almost done. He has to wait to start to conserve it. Yeah. Running uh, his army back, but... All they're doing uh, right now is tanking damage. 
No much damage. Actually, I gotta say, he's not doing near as much as I thought he would. No. He's backing off for some reason. Yeah, he wants to make sure he doesn't get caught by an observer, but... Yeah. Oh, that Banshee. Oh, reinforcing. Oh, no. reinforcing Banshee gets taken out. And we might see another one go down. Nope. Just out of... Luckily on that high ground. Oh, doing this little battle and microing all his Banshees, Jeff has spiked up to 1k minerals. Yeah. Oh, actually spending a lot of it right now. Yeah. But still, like, he needs to be sure he keeps up with that macro while he's microing. Otherwise, he could just get killed by a counter. Where is that Colossi that's back in his main? It is in the main. And we have third TC coming down for Jeff. I mean, the more I look at this composition, the more I'm thinking, you know, point defense drone is really going to nullify those stalkers. As long as he can target down that Colossus with those Banshees, I mean, he could have a really favorable engagement here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, get the fight right in. Banshees are doing so much damage to the Stalker. The Stalkers are actually pretty good against Banshees. Yeah. The Genesis is walking by, he doesn't even notice. Minster not keeping a, uh, an Observer with his main army. Now the Banshees are just getting free damage. Yeah. Genesis is keeping units sent to the third. Oh uh, man, Mr. is getting punished for not having that observer. Yeah. And we see his supply actually plummet below 100. Yeah, that should have been a massively favorable engagement for Minster, but yeah. not having that observer just really killed him. Yeah, he should have taken that fight pretty easily. Yeah. The thing about the Marines is that they don't they don't have any upgrades at all. Like there's no oh he does have combat shield, but there's no stem. There's no one one. It's just yeah. Whereas Minster is up, he's on two one already. Yeah, all those Marines have is this little shield protecting from the Colossi lasers, and that isn't going to work too well, too well. Yeah, Marines not very good against Colossi. And Minster actually has four cannons set up in his natural, but none in his main. It's really weird. None on his third either. See, how many Banshees does he have? Nine Banshees. So, if Minster actually just keeps warping in Stalkers and keeps an Observer with him, there's no reason why he should lose the next fight. Yep. He might catch some of these Banshees, no? Nope. Oh, it's free SCVs. I don't know and what too, though. Jeff's gonna need to pull these Banshees back to defend. Oh uh, yeah, the Banshees not here in the fight. That's so much DPS missing out. Yeah. TV is coming. Not repairing though. I don't think it would really help. No. There's just too much damage in that army. But this time he does have an observer ready. Yeah. And there's a few banshees. Actually, but he has more banshees than stalkers here. Yeah. Correct. So. So Mister does lose his army. But with a few warpings, he should still easily be yeah, in this game. At what cost? Jeff has by far the more expensive army, so it's going to take him a lot longer to rebuild. Definitely. And he's actually messed up his rally, so he has a few units right at his production facilities. Yep. Um, he did... Oh, actually, he's just very... Over... Jeff is actually very oversaturated in his main, with only four mineral patches left, and they're almost mined out. So he desperately needs that third to stay. Yeah, he needs to get that third. He needs to get more SCVs on that natural. But even that natural is running really low at this point. Jeff is actually up to 2k minerals. He needs to add on more... anything. <laughs> yeah. We have an attack coming down. If Mitzvah can actually pick off this third, then... this will be... Jeff will be in a very bad situation. So many mules. Oh, man. But not all the stalkers attacking the number still. There he goes. But still, that's just too many Banshees. Like, he's going to lose most of this army right there. Yeah, he's just got so many Banshees on the field right now, it's... No upgrades besides one... one attack on the Banshees for the Terran. While Minster's at 2-1. Almost, well, halfway down the level. 
plus three. Yeah, Minster throwing down a dark shrine back home as he starts level three weapons. I gotta say, although the supplies say that Minster is far behind, if he can just kill these banshees with the stalkers somehow, then yeah. he'll be Right now the banshees are what what is keeping Jeff alive. Yeah, definitely. Here we got attack from behind. The Thor is doing a lot of damage as well, taking yeah. those stalker shots. Focusing the Thor. Yeah, those stalkers getting caught focusing down that Thor, so the banshees were able to not only stay alive but just deal huge amounts of damage. And I think this might be a I don't think he has an answer at all. Yeah, there we go. There's a GG. Just too many banshees on the field. He just couldn't deal with it. So that was a very weird composition coming out from Jeff, but he it was enough for the cloak banshees to take the win. Yeah, that was really interesting. I've never seen any composition but like that. But I think it all came down to that one attack at Jeff's El Naga Tower, where yeah, Mister just didn't have an observer for some reason. Yep, absolutely. At that. Um, that engagement right there, if he had had an observer, that would have been GG for Oh yeah, he, he should have had that fight, so easily. Yeah. Alright, so, so that's... the score is actually 3-2 in favor of NPA. Yep.